from My News 26 and CCTV. It's high school football, coming to you this season from schools throughout the region. This 26 Sports and CCTV high school football presentation is brought to you by Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Your local electric cooperative is looking out for you. And by Munson Healthcare Cadillac Rehab Services. Welcome to Veterans Memorial Stadium as we've got senior night here at Cadillac High School for the 26 Sports and CCTV Michigan High School Football Game of the Week as the Traverse City West Titans take on the Cadillac Vikings. I'm Derek Tate alongside Jeff Castillo. And Jeff, we already mentioned in our pregame, but we've got a battle in the Big North Conference between two four and two squads. And look, one of these two teams is gonna be able to make some ground up on either Traverse City Central or Alpena with a win tonight here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Yeah, and you know, as the playoffs are kind of approaching the last couple games of the year coming up, now's the time uh, to pick up some wins. They gotta have six to get in for sure. And uh, I think both teams are still kind of at four games. So big game tonight, both in the conference and for playoff implications. Absolutely, so we've seen, this has been owned as far as the, the rivalry between these two teams in recent years, it has been Traverse City West that has won the last four matchups, including last year, a 42 to nothing drubbing of this Cadillac Vikings team. But we're talking about a Cadillac Vikings team that only won one game in 2018. Yep. This is a completely different football team, and I expect a completely different matchup tonight. Right. Much, much better squad. Uh, you know, they've only won three games the last two previous years, and they've already got four wins this year. So much improved Cadillac team this year. Uh, they've been on a little bit of a roll as of late. Andy Soma as the quarterback who missed two games in the middle of the season for the Titans. He had a hairline fracture in his throwing hand. He did return last week to help them come away with a 36 to 12 victory over Carmen Amesworth. So what is it gonna mean to have that senior quarterback presence and really help this Titans offense operate at full capacity? Oh, it means everything. Uh, not only does it mean a lot skill wise on the field and the plays that are being uh, made, but just the leadership alone, knowing you've got your guy in there and they all have trust in him, they've got confidence in him, they know when they break that huddle, he's gonna make something happen for him and get, get the job done. As we see on the other side, the senior leader for the Cadillac Vikings, he's playing through injury yet again tonight. It's gonna be number 48, Tip Baker. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a couple moments as we throw it over to the public address announcer for the National Anthem. Edition of the National Anthem here at Veterans Memorial Stadium as we near kickoff between the Titans and the Cadillac Vikings here on 26 Sports and CCTV. Now we did mention in the pregame as well that it was a comeback victory, 14 points scored in the fourth quarter for the Cadillac Vikings as they came away with a 23 to 20 victory over Gaylord last week. How do you, this is the first time that they've won two consecutive games so far in this 2019 season. So how do they carry that momentum into tonight's matchup against the Titans? Well, I just think, you know, the, the follow up from that, when you 
when you have a comeback like that, uh, in that fashion, down 14, come back, getting a touchdown, getting another touchdown, getting a victory, that can turn a season around uh, for a team or build momentum coming into this West. And, you know, West has beaten up on them a little bit in the past here, so uh, yeah. I'm sure they've uh, got that in the back of their minds also, or the front. A little, bit of, a, a little bit of a revenge game perhaps Absolutely. here for the Cadillac Vikings. As far, and it's the senior night here, which is also so important yeah. to any young men or women that are playing their high school sport. Yep. The last game at home in front of your hometown fans is something special that you're always going to remember. I remember mine as if it was yesterday, right? even though it was a lot of yesterdays ago. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. So, I mean, but we're going to see, it appears that it's going to be the Vikings that are going to kick off to the TC West Titans to start action here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Again, head coach Greg Vaughn, he's taken these Titans to the playoffs each of the last three seasons. And certainly he's had a little bit of mixed success. He's only won one playoff game in the last three years, but certainly this team is capable of making a push down the final stretch of the 2019 season. Yeah, absolutely. And it's got to start tonight for them. They, they, this is, they got to go for win five here. One play at a time, and especially with the wet conditions here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. As we are underway, Colin Hess is going to kick off. That one going to be taken by the senior Aiden Griggs at the 15-yard line. And Griggs has got some running room up the left sideline. Finally slung down by the kicker himself, just shy of midfield. And TC West is in business with a great return. Yeah, real good field position. Uh, and a lot of times, if you can win that field position battle throughout the night and have that going for you, it makes all the difference in the world. It seems like when you're backed up by your end zone, you're just kind of running uphill the whole time. A lot. In fact, we're going to see two different offensive philosophies here tonight. For the Titans, you have Soma, who is a very gifted senior quarterback, under center, two tight ends, and a big offensive line for TC West. Yeah, it looks like they probably give him some pretty good protection throughout the year. We're going to see. Uh, Cadillac tends to like to run the ball on offense, but they were a solid defense here a couple weeks ago when they faced Lake Odessa. And there's going to be an early flag. There may be too many men on the field, and this one is going to be against the Cadillac Vikings. Twelve men on the football field. Got to count them up. Weird to see that penalty on the very first snap yeah, of the game. Right off the bat. And that'll give them five yards and move them into... Vikings territory before even taking an offensive snap. All right, not a great start for the Vikings here. They need to regroup, get the defense ramped up. Two tight ends set. Pistol formation, and that one gives to Griggs, and Griggs is inside the 40-yard line. Physical bit of running brought down by number 55, Keegan Buckmaster on the stop for the Vikings, but that's a gain of eight, and that'll yeah. move the sticks. Yeah, they had big Eric Haggerty pulling on that one, and he just led right through the hole and got a great block. First and 10, first, first and 10 for the Titans at the 38-yard line. Give goes to Christian Boyven around the left edge, trying to fight off Tip Baker, finally dragged down just past the 30-yard line, and we see early on that the Titans are not shy from playing a physical brand of football, running it right at this Cadillac defense. Yep, they're trying it short side. They're going to try it long side. Find out where the holes are in the defense early. And still staying out of that pistol formation. Second and one for TC West. Griggs on the carry around the right side, and he's right along the backside of Eric Haggerty. You said he pulled on one of the earlier plays. They go call his number, go right behind him, and that'll move the sticks again. Yep, important for the Cadillac linebackers. They got a key on those guards. When they got those pulling guards, you can usually follow them. It's going to take you to the ball. And it's Andy Soma, the senior quarterback, back under center. And he's a welcome addition to this Titans offense. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. Soma rolling right, and he's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked by Jay Goolish. Nice play for the Vikings. They really needed that. Beautiful pursuit to the football off the play action. Tried to move the pocket for Soma and Jay Goolish knifing right between the protection call for the Titans and a loss of six. Yeah, puts him in a second long. 
And you know, the weather appears to be pretty decent right now. You never know what it's going to bring the rest of the night. It's not forecast to be real great. And here's the give to number 27, Remy Schultz, right up the gut. And he'll get back what he lost, just a little shy of the original line of scrimmage. Gain of five will go ahead and bring up the first third and long for this Titans offense. Be interesting to see if they're going to go airborne here. And we're gonna Ball might be just a little damp, but like I said, not bad. Doesn't appear to be raining too awful hard right now. They might want to take advantage of the conditions while they can. And it looks like they're going to spread out this Vikings defense on third and 11, working out of the shotgun trips to the top of your screen is Soma. And they're rolling left, Soma. He's gonna tuck it down and run. He's got the first down, knifing through this Vikings defense. And he picked up 12 to move the chains. Yeah, nice play right there. Not sure if they actually kick field goals or not, but the, that pretty much eliminated that for right now anyway, as they've got a first and 10. You've seen into Cadillac territory. You've seen head coach Greg Vaughn on a couple of occasions. The two passing plays that they've called, they've moved the pocket to try to take advantage of Soma's athleticism. And that one moves the change first and 10 for the Titans. Greg's around the right side again. Got a little bit of running room. He's going to be brought down just inside the 10 yard line. Alex Barcheski on the stop. And you see that this Titans offense, they've been able to find quite a bit of running room here yeah. early on. Yeah, they just same play. They're just trying that right sweep. They lead the opposite guard pulling all around, leading through the hole. And when you see a big 76 coming at you, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he takes up a lot of room. Haggerty, Good the blocker. Start, starting left guard for this big unit up front for TC West. And they've got a second and six at the nine yard line. That's going to be Boyven plunging inside the five and brought down just shy of the goal line. It's going to be a first and goal to go as this Titans offense is rolling on the ground. Yeah, nothing fancy with that one. They just went straight ahead and said, power football, here we come. And we're likely to see more power football on first and goal from the one. Soma, quarterback keeper, into the end zone. Touchdown, TC West. And the Titans go 52 yards, marching right down the field, and they strike first. All right, Cadillac defense let up a, a kind of a quick one there, mostly on the ground. Two pass plays called, one Garner to sack, and the other one a first down scramble as Finn Durbin is on to attempt the extra point. Snap. A little off, but it's down, and the kick is good. So with 8-10 remaining in the opening quarter, it's TC West that goes right down the field and punches it in for six. They lead 7 to nothing. All right, and while we've got an opportunity here, we want to mention our sponsors for this game, bringing you the action here on Friday night. We've got Munson Healthcare, Cadillac Hospital, Wolverine Power Cooperative, and Great Lakes Energy. We've got Fox Motors of Cadillac, your local Ford and Toyota dealerships, LC Materials, the concrete experts, Doug Glass of Cadillac for all your home and auto glass needs, Builders First Source in Cadillac, your first source for flooring. Stop by and see them today. We've also got Cadillac Tire Center, your hometown tire dealer, and of course we've got a little bit of probably snow in the uh, near future, future right. uh, maybe not real, real near future, but you know it's coming, so if you got to get some tires or get the old uh, snow tires on there, go visit Cadillac Tire Center, their hometown tire dealer. Primo's Barbecue, serving you only authentic pit barbecue, always cooked low and slow. Get your brisket, pulled pork, or rib fix before any local football game. Here's the kickoff. Sounds fantastic as Durbin boots that one into the end zone, goes over the head of Carter Harsh. And it will be a touchback in the Cadillac Vikings offense, who's already trailing 7 to nothing. They have their work cut out for them, and they'll start at their own 20-yard line, led by the sophomore quarterback, Aiden Gurdon. All right, and I do want to mention one more sponsor before we get on with the play. Pizza Plus, Cadillac's local source for pizza and sandwiches for over 50 years. Excellent, excellent food over there. Way to go, Pizza Plus. I mean, 
All sponsors are, of course, created equal, but well, yes. that one may taste one of the best on the list there. As it is, Aiden Gurdon under center working out of the wing T formation. First and ten for Cadillac. Option left, and that's Noah Cochran, a tough bit of running. Able to slip through a couple Titan tacklers before he's brought down after a gain of three. Well, that's a good start. They've got to feel out this Titan defense. Cadillac does a lot of running the ball. And they do a lot of it behind. Big old number 76, Ryan Wood and Bryce Benjelink, the left guard and left tackle, respectively. Second and seven for Cadillac. Gurdon gives to Cochran. And Cochran able to slip one tackler, but then rallying to the football. Aggressive bit of hitting by the safety, Aiden Griggs. And that's going to bring up a third and a long four. Yeah, long four, maybe five. Real important to try to get something going here for the Vikings. If they were forced to punt here, they're not going to give uh, TC West too bad a field position from the looks of it. Of course, Cadillac more so known for their power running game, only 120, 106 yards through the air entering tonight's contest for Gurdon, and they stay on the ground for third and five, and that one never stood a chance. Zachary Toki, the captain defensive lineman, blew that play up. Yeah, wasn't tricking him. Looks like it's going to be about fourth and five, and Cadillac is going to have to go to the punt. It's going to be Colin Hess that's handling the kicking duties tonight for Cadillac. Back is Aiden Griggs. Griggs had himself a three-touchdown day versus Alpina. Two on the ground and one defensive touchdown, and that oh, kick blocked. is blocked. Christian Boyven blocks it, and the ball is going to trickle out of bounds, and that is a disaster for Cadillac. Great play by Christian Boyven getting a piece of that punt. Boy, that just changes everything. Uh, <laughs> Cadillac's going to be staring at a uh, big try to defensive stand here to try to keep the West out of the end zone. And it was Christian Boyven along that left edge, screaming past the up blocker and was able to just get enough of a piece of that Colin Hess punt. And the Titans are in business with a first and goal at the three yard line. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the Cadillac defense here. And it's Andrew Soma working out of the pistol. And the give goes to Christian Boyven. Boyven weaving through traffic. He's and very close. He, Didn't he quite get in. Stacked up just before the goal line in the area. Looks like Keegan Buckmaster, his second tackle early on in this one for the Vikings. It's going to bring up second and goal from the one. We've seen the Titans with an effective power running game on their first drive. Yeah, they've got some big linemen to uh, provide some holes for those running backs. Staying out of the pistol on second and goal from the one. Give goes to Aiden Griggs. Griggs falling into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans. Aiden Griggs with a one yard touchdown run and TC West extends their lead. 13 to nothing. All right, looks like they're going to set up for another one point conversion. They trot on Finn Durbin. In these wet conditions, a little bit of an off snap on that first one, but it was handled quite well by Mason Morrison. Yeah, that is not a, uh, it's not a given. That's not an easy play for a snap and a hold and a good solid plant and a kick. Sometimes the easiest of plays can be <laughs> Difficult given specific conditions, and it looks like we're going to have a encroachment penalty on Cadillac, so they'll move it up uh, about a yard and a half, make it a little bit easier. Yeah, just a touch closer. It looks like Cadillac was trying to cheat just a little bit and get in there and get a block right. of their of their own. And said it's Durbin. It's going to be a 21-yard extra point attempt. Kick is up, and it is blasted. Splits the uprights. And with 540 remaining in the opening quarter, off of a blocked punt, the TC West Titans capitalize with another one-yard touchdown run. 
This one from Aiden Griggs, they lead 14 to nothing. Yeah, Cadillac's got to get regrouped here and get some momentum going. Hey, well, we've got a chance. We would like to uh, show you the behind the scenes people running this uh, broadcast tonight. Our director, Miss Hannah Crouch. Camera one, we've got Damian Brooks. Our play-by-play, -play, obviously, is Derek Tate. I am Jeff Castillo. Camera two, we've got Alden McCoy. And on camera three, Dylan McCall. And they are braving a little bit of weather tonight. Uh, it almost makes you feel a little guilty up uh, in this nice dry booth, Derek. I 100% do feel a little <laughs> guilty. Last time we were in Cadillac, it was pouring rain on homecoming night. Yeah. And we've had a couple rainy games so far on the 26 Sports and CCTV Michigan High School football game of the week as it's Durbin that boots this one in the area of Carter Harsh. That one's going to go out of bounds, though, and it will be an illegal procedure that will advance the ball to the 35-yard line. All right, so Cadillac is going to start off in decent field position, and uh, they've got to move the chains to get some first downs going here. Well, one thing that i, I, I got to ask you, with the tendency and the effectiveness of running behind the left guard, Ryan Wood and, and Bryce Benjelink, they and Carson Razio, the center for the Cadillac Vikings, they've had a size advantage against most opponents, but tonight they're running up against a big unit on both sides of the ball up front for the TC West Titans. We're going to have to see if they're going to have to adjust their game plan to try to move the ball. They only garnered five yards on four offensive snaps. Second possession for Cadillac. First and ten from the 35. And the ball's on the floor. Razio and Gurdon unable to secure the quarterback center exchange. Luckily, Gurdon falls on it. For a loss of one. Yeah, they're going to lose one, but they did not lose the ball, so they've got that going for them. Yeah, and it was a surprising thing there. The game we did a couple weeks ago, pretty much the same conditions, probably worse actually than, than what we've got going right now. And nobody, there were no turnovers. No the, the ball did not hit the ground. It was amazing that that even happened. So we'll see how that turns out tonight. But that was one uh, one bad fumble right there. Oh, and there's another one. That's another one, and this one, Colin Johnson. Again, the Vikings avoid a potential disaster, wow. but. Two plays on this second possession have both been botched snaps between Razio and Gurdon. It's going to be third and long in the blink of an eye. Yeah, they're not off to a good start at all. They've got to, uh, they've got to regroup here. And so I'm almost wondering if it's almost time for a timeout and just get them settled in, settle down, talk to them, and just regroup. And head coach Cody Mallory has done a fantastic job with this Cadillac Vikings team, but the TC West Titans have come out and made a statement early on. Here's third and 12, Gurdon back to pass. Looking for Johnson, that one nearly intercepted. Broken on it was Aiden Griggs, the safety. He was all over that one. Yeah, I thought he had it dead to rights and uh, must have got defended and knocked out of his hands. It's hard to tell from here, but uh, they dodged a bullet there. Well, we know Colin Johnson is a very good outside linebacker in his own right, and he was the intended target on that pass, but had to go full defender to ensure Griggs did not pick that one off, and on the punt on fourth and 14 is Colin Hess. His first one was blocked earlier this quarter. Here's the snap, heavy pressure, and there's a flag in the backfield. It's a good punt from Colin Hess, and that one will trickle inside the 25-yard line. Hallen Wang downs it, but we did see heavy pressure yet again from Christian Boyvin. I think he may have drawn the holding call. Okay, yeah, we'll see. There is a flag down. And judging by the distance of that kick, I think they're probably going to bring him back and make him kick it again. And I believe you are right as we see the both teams heading back towards the original line of scrimmage. And it was a good punt from Colin Hess, but it's going to come off the board as head coach Greg Vaughn is going to make the Cadillac Vikings kick it again. Yeah, well, why wouldn't you? Uh, they've already blocked one. Field's a little damp. You got to get a good snap here. You got to, you know, catch the ball properly. And they're probably going to try and block another one here. That was Christian Boyvin coming off that last, or not that left edge, and he crashed and blew right by Julian Lamond, who's the up back protecting Colin Hess. And he did it again right there. That time Lamond said, "I'd rather, I'd rather grab a holding call than see another one blocked on my on my watch." Yeah. Unfortunately, the referee. Saw it, yep. threw the flag, and they got to do it again. Yeah, and he's standing on his about five-yard line. So they are in uh, deep territory here. 
That's a low snap and more pressure. That one just gets off. And unfortunately, it's not a very long punt, but Colin Hess lucky to get that one off yeah. as Seth Gallagher almost blocked that one for the Titans. Yeah, they're going to have to look at that uh, punt formation and make some adjustments on that because they don't want to have to go through that every time they've got a punt tonight. And so far, this TC West defense looks like they're going to force a couple more punts. Yep, and they've got all the momentum going on right now. Cadillac just can't find anything uh, positive. And we've seen a lot of success for these Titans against this Cadillac unit. I mentioned in the pregame show, they've won four straight against Cadillac in their 16-6 and all-time. As here's the third possession for the Titans. Andrew Soma working out of the pistol. Yet to complete a pass, but they've done all their damage on the ground in this one. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. Give goes to Boyvin around the left edge. And Boyvin cut down by Tip Baker, who's playing through another injury, this time an ankle injury, but seven yards on that carry. And it's this defense that's been so stout for Cadillac this year. There's a lot of running room early on in this one. Yes, there is. Well, they've got some pretty good blocking. Uh, up front for TC West. They have done an excellent job of getting out there and getting blocks and making some room for the running backs. Austin Carnes, Daniel Rosa, and Caleb Hippensteel all along this offensive unit, all over 300 pounds. Here's second and three. Give goes to Remy Schultz up the middle. And he's going to be stacked up just past the line of scrimmage. He's going to be just a little shy of the sticks and brings up another third down for the TC, Titan, or TC West Titans. Yeah, okay, so a little bit of hope for the Vikings here. I'm not sure that this is probably four down territory if they don't end up getting this here, but uh, it was a good stop to keep them short. And you see Ryan Wood come in for Bryce Benjeling, trying to go with a little bit of size to match size. We've got third and one for the Titans. Okay. Schultz on the carry. Schultz has got the first down. Around that left edge, they're just trying to run behind the left tackle, yep. Daniel Rosa. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. First down, Titans. Right, and they chose to go wide, and probably a good thing. Cadillac was bringing their linebackers up, filling the gaps, and Traverse City West was able to get the first down running around the left side. We saw that they brought in big old Ryan Wood, number 76, along at playing that right defensive end along that left edge, and they decided to try to get him out on the edge, and it was a good call. First and 10 here for the Titans. And we've got a penalty on, it appears, the TC West Titans. If While we got a moment, we do actually have the name of the crew tonight. Yep. Yeah. The officiating crew, referee Do, uh, Joe DeChow. We've got umpire Joe Johnson, line judge Brett Spaulding, back judge Rourke Parjian, and the headlinesman tonight, Jeff Bretzky. So often, if you're a referee, it's a thankless job. But we want to go ahead and thank the crew for tonight as we've got a first and 15 for the Titans. And there's Boyvin on the carry. Boyvin sidesteps one would-be tackler and is dragged down just inside the 25-yard line by Alex Barcheski. And they get back the yardage they lost on the penalty and going to bring up second and seven. Yeah, Cadillac is definitely outsized right now. You can just see the uh, the size difference as you're looking down at the field. And we just saw number 72 for the Cadillac Vikings. It's slick out there. Yep. And oftentimes, when it's wet conditions, the offense has the advantage because they know where they're going yep. as opposed to the defense who has to react. Yep, exactly. Andy Soma, second and seven for TC West. West going to go to the air, and he's going to try to drop that one off to Aiden Griggs. Beautiful job of composing himself by the senior quarterback, dropping it off to Aiden Griggs, but there is a flag right around the line of scrimmage. If this play stands, it is a first down. Yeah. Usually in that area could be some holding. Let's see what the refs come up with on this one. They're discussing it over on the sideline. And if you were to go by what the teams are doing on the field, it looks like this may go against Cadillac yeah. because they're towards where the ball finished. But we'll have to wait and see it. In fact, it is going to be on Cadillac. We'll wait to see the official call. I imagine that Greg Vaughn, the head coach of the Titans, will probably decline it. Yeah. 
first down without it. One thing that we've seen on every single pass attempt from Andy Soma is they continue to move the pocket out on the edge. Yeah. What kind of t what kind of pressure does that put on a defense? Well, a, a lot because you know once he gets outside that. Okay, yeah. So they did decline the penalty. It's a first down. Uh, so here goes TC West with a fresh set of downs. But it puts a lot of pressure on the defense, especially when you got a kid that can scramble and run, because that's the hardest thing to defend, really, is that running quarterback. If he just sits, sits back in the pocket, you're just defending some uh, wide receivers and everything. But once he gets on the go and gets out there, you get caught in between sometimes. You don't know whether to come up and uh, try to tackle him, stay with your guy, put you in an awkward position as a defenseman. That's what we saw there with, Cat, with Colin Johnson. He was kind of left yep. in no man's land. Do I cover the the quarterback that's about to scramble, or do I cover my man that's running her out? Here's a first and 10, just outside the 10 yard line. Boyvin on the carry. He cuts it up inside the 10 yard line into the heart of that Vikings defense. Vikings do stack him up. It's Tip Baker, the leading tackler, who has had his third tackle of the night. But still a, a solid gain of four. Consistently moving the ball just about every play. That is going to be a problem for Cadillac tonight. As we just now approach the one minute mark remaining in the opening quarter and it has been all TC West Titans. They lead 14 to nothing. And they've got themselves a second and six at the seven yard line. Working out of the pistol is Soma. And here's Griggs around the right edge. Griggs puts his shoulder down and he powers in for the second time tonight. Touchdown Titans. Wow. Up three touchdowns. I don't think the Vikings have gotten a first down yet. A tough one as Aiden Griggs with his second rushing touchdown of the night. And just along that right offensive side of the line, and really they've been able to run wherever they yeah. decided to tonight. Have yeah. the Titans. They've gone straight up the middle. They've gone to the left. They've gone to the right. Cadillac has not stopped anything. Uh, they have managed a sack in there, but other than that, not a lot of bright spots. And here's the extra point attempt from Durbin, and that one is good. Well, he gets some height on that ball. Oh, yeah. He really does. A lot of times in high school football, it's just getting over the line and everything, but he really gets it up in the air, and he's kicking it against the wind right now. He's showing himself plenty of range, but they really haven't needed Durbin's range so far in this one as it is the third rushing touchdown of the first quarter for TC West. The second one from Aiden Griggs and they lead the Vikings 21 to nothing with 42 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. Yeah, and we talked a little earlier about, uh, you know, field position and Traverse City is winning the field position. I mean, they've been uh, pretty much inside Cadillac's territory uh, for all of their drives, haven't had to go real far, right. ended up getting the block punt, and they're taking advantage of it. First possession started at the 48-yard line yep. just outside of Vikings territory. Second one started inside the five, yep. which was an easy yep. punch and in. last one uh, was right around the 45, 50-yard line also, so they have not had to go far. Not that they couldn't go far the way right. they're moving the ball, but uh, short field definitely makes a difference. And on the last offensive possession for Cadillac, their first two plays, a botched center quarterback exchange as Durbin's kickoff is going to Carter Harsh, and he receives it just inside the five-yard line. Harsh, and look at the coverage from the Titans, and they drop him right around the 15-yard line. And the Vikings field position battle, they continue to be on the unfortunate side of it. Yeah, they've got the long road to go, but I, you know, you just gotta break it down simple. They've gotta get a first down here. They've yet to get a first down, I believe, uh, tonight. And that's where you gotta start. You gotta move the sticks and try to get a little something positive going. They are gonna dig themselves a huge hole here if they have to keep kicking it back to uh, the Titans. You gotta get this, you gotta get the defense a little bit yeah, of a breather. Give them a breather. Let's see what the, or the Vikings can do on their third possession of this one. Gurdon with a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Cochran right up the middle and you see a mosh pit of <laughs> both Vikings yeah, and Titans there's, defense. There's a pile of players right there, no place to run. That's what that is. I couldn't tell who got the who got the tackle. There was just a mob of people. Normally you see a rugby scrum yeah, right, yeah. around a fumble, but yeah. not around <laughs> just a carry right up the middle. And 
Head coach Cody Mallory is going to go ahead and say enough is enough for the first quarter as the Vikings are trailing the TC West Titans after the first quarter of action, 21 to nothing here on the 26 Sports and CCTV Michigan High School Football Game of the Week. Can the Vikings mount a comeback? We'll find out on the other side. 